Bawat members upang so, lahat ng may pagkita ang kanilang uh, unity at ang kanilang uh, pag-ibig. Uh, Ito malaking po. Salamat po kayo. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Ngayon po, ating pong yan dating pusong isipan sa pakilig ng salita ng Diyos na yakit po sa atin from Davao Congregation, Pastor, Senior Pastor Chito Mares. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Lahat kong nagsabi ng Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Let us open our Bible and read Amos chapter 5 verse 15. Praise the Lord! Take the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the day. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Praise the Lord! Napaka importante ito instruction ng ating buhay ng Diyos. Ito po ang kanyang sinabi, Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Now, ano itong evil and good. Itong evil and good, ang maalaala natin nito, una, yung pinagbawal ng Diyos na ipakain. The tree of knowledge between, uh, tree of knowledge of good and evil. Bakit hindi pinahintulot ng Diyos na ipakain niyo. Bakit ayaw ng Diyos ipakain sa kanila yun? Because God knows the, capac the capacity of human being na kanyang nilalang sa mundong ito, they are not capable to handle. If they have the knowledge of good and evil, wala silang capacity o capability to handle at nakikita ng Diyos na papapahamak ang tao. Subalit, nangyari na na kinain ng ating unang magulang. So, therefore, hindi na ito maalis sa atin. Nandito na ito sa atin. Ang gusto na lang ng Diyos sa buhay natin is we have to manage it. I-manage na lang natin ito. At walang ibang makapag-re-reveal sa atin sa good and evil na kaya i-define ang dalawang bagay na yan. Kaya i-define kaya ihayag what is the consequence because the consequence is temporal and eternal. The consequence which is temporal that will take effect habang nandito pa tayo sa buhay sa mundo nito. The consequence eternal after we have died there will be judgment and there will be eternal consequence of all of every one of us. So gusto ng ating Panginoong Diyos, mahandal, mamanage natin ito. Ang instruction niya sa atin, na nandito na ito sa atin, yung knowledge na yan, hate evil. Kapuutan natin ang masama. Ibigin natin ang mabuti. Mag-establish tayo ng judgment in the game. Sino ba yung Ano'y pangalan sa hans pa ni Sister Daisy? Ha? Leonard. Leonard? Sabi ko, Leonard, kumusta? Anong work mo ngayon? Assigned daw siya dito sa boundary ng La Union at Pangkasina. Iko, anong nature ng traanang kampanya ninyo? Nagsusupply ng mga poste ng electric post. Anong job mo doon? 
Hindi ko kasi nakuha kaagad ng trabaho niya kung ano. Sabi niya, security. So, ang security, sila yung mag-i-establish ng judgment sa gig. Kung sino ang hindi papasukin at kung sino ang papasukin. Meron yan silang uh, tinatawag na binigay ng kanilang company na instruction. Tandaan mo ha, no ID, no entry. Kasi bakit kailangan ng ID? We have to identify the person before we can let them in. If they don't have ID, we cannot identify them. So he is suspicious. Huwag mo silang papasukin. Ganun din, bawat isa sa atin, binigyan ng instruction ng ating Diyos na lumalang sa ating lahat. Kung paano niya binigyan si Adam and Eve ng instruction and they failed to do the instruction of their creator and it cost them the eternal destruction or consequence forever and ever that they were not permitted to take the tree of life that will cause them to inhibit eternal life. The one effect temporal and eternal. Nakapahamakan. So, the same God which made them, the same God which made us, the same God which instructed them, the same God which instructing us today. Dahil nandito na yung knowledge of good and evil sa buhay natin, lalapit tayo sa Kanya to define what is evil and what is good. After knowing what is evil and what is good, then we have to hate the things that is being identified evil. Then we have to love that is being identified with is good. So, we will establish judgment in the gate of our heart. Mag-establish tayo ng judgment sa gate ng ating puso, if it is evil, reject, refuse. Hey, if it is good as what God is telling us that is good, then let us love, let us, let them in, let them uh, dwell sa puso natin. Or let us do, let us practice, let us keep. But if it is identified by God that is evil, hate, refuse. Reject, do not do. Yun ang instruction ng Diyos sa atin ngayon. So, inahayag ng Diyos sa atin yan. How, how God made these two things before us. Before us, basahin natin. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 11, 26 hanggang 28. Praise the Lord. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse, a blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day, and a curse if ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside of the way which I commanded you. And at first, if you will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside out of the way which I command you this day to go after other God which ye have not known. Praise yeah. Yeah. So, ilalagay ko sa harapan ninyo sa araw na ito ang blessing and curse. Blessing represents good. Curse represents evil. Ihayag ko yan, ilalagay ko, ilalatag ko yan sa harapan mismo na inyo, sa inyo. This is blessing, this is curse. A blessing, if you obey the commandments of the Lord. Ito yung blessing, if you obey the commandments of the Lord, sabi ng Diyos. A curse, if you will not obey the commandments of the Lord, your God. Sumpat, kung hindi kayo susunod sa kautusan ng inyong Diyos. 
But turn aside out of the way which I command you this day. Mito kayo sa aking inuto sa inyo sa araw na ito at humanap kayo, pumunta kayo sa ibang Diyos na hindi ninyo kilala. So sino ito? Strange gods na ito. This, this is representing Satan. Si Eva at si Adam, hindi nakinig sa Diyos na nag-create sa kanila. Doon sila nag-go astray. Doon sila nakinig sa other gods. Which is the, the serpent. The same din sa buhay natin. The same din sa buhay natin na yan. Dito tayo, inayag na ng Diyos, this is curse, this is blessing. If you obey God, blessing. If you disobey God, curse. When can you disobey God? If you listen to other gods. If you do not listen to, to me, God said. If you listen to other gods, you will go astray. You will turn from my commandment. noon, wala pang ibanghilyo ng Diyos sa lahat sa buhay natin. We don't know what is re really evil is. Gumagawa tayo ng mga bagay na kinaliligayan natin because we know that is good. Yung pala, evil, not until God made us to know through His commandments, through His gospel, na masama pala yun. So most of the people of the world are already blinded by Satan doing what is not good, doing what is evil without any acknowledge or without any knowledge, without any consciousness, without any awareness na yung pala yung masama. Dahil wala pa yung gospel of God. So tayo na mga anak ng Diyos, before we came to know God, we are that, we were that in our status. We are doing evil without our knowledge. We are doing evil which is bound to be cursed, which is bound to eternal hell, eternal punishment. Hindi natin alam. We were blinded by Satan. So ngayon, Anong sinabi dito? 2 Corinthians 4.4 4. Praise the Lord. In whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them, which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Praise Yan. Sino itong mga tao which believe not, which the God of this world make them blind? Who are these people? Ito yung status natin noon before we believe God. Kailan ba dumating we believe God when the gospel of God is preached unto us? Nung hindi pa na-preach sa atin ang gospel of God, we don't believe God. We don't have any idea believing God. So therefore, we are blinded by the God of this world, which is Satan the devil. To them which believe not, kasama na tayo dyan noon. Lest the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ should shine unto them. And now, means matangas na magbibigay sa atin ng liwana, yung gospel of Christ. Yung gospel of Christ. Kaya galit na galit si Satanas sa atin who are handling the gospel of Christ. Nalaala nyo yung ano ni Jesus Christ pariyak niya sa atin. Yung, yung buong kami sa panas na sa inyo. Nasa inyo. Sino ba tayo? Handling the gospel of Christ, preaching the gospel of Christ, uh, spreading the gospel of Christ, preaching the gospel of Christ, teaching the gospel of Christ. Basta, we are in the gospel of Christ ministry. Doon ka rin si Satanas. Kung maaaring lang, the gospel of Christ should not shine. 
among the people of the world. Dahil ito yung magbibigay ng awareness what is really evil. Ito yung magbibigay ng exact definition what is good so that people might know how to replace evil because they have identified evil to accept that which is good because they have identified that which is good. They are a people who have knowledge of God. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because they reject knowledge. So, napaka-importante yung gospel. Now, saan mababasa ang gospel of Christ? Sabi mo, of course, for the purple gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. No! The gospel of Christ is the entire Bible. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. From Old to New Testament, yan yung gospel of Christ. Nandiyan yan lahat. Kinakailangan ito ang mag-shine sa buhay ng tao sa sanglibutan ito. To teach you what is evil so that you may hit it. To teach you, to let you know what is good so that you may love that which is good. And in order to apply the instruction, establish judgment in the gate of your heart. Kung ano yung hindi dapat papasukin na ibig, huwag papasukin. Kung ano yung mabuti, yun lang ang ating i-entertain at ipapasok o gagawin. So, anong inawa ng Diyos na nangyari sa ating buhay? Basahin natin. 2 Corinthians 4.6 Praise the Lord. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness had the sin in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Ayan. Inuntos ng Diyos ang liwanag para magliwanag mula sa kadiliman. Have shine in our hearts lumiwanag sa ating mga puso to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Christ, which is the Word of God, so the light of the knowledge of the glory of God, which is in the face of Jesus Christ, which is no other than God, the Creator. The Word of God. Diyan makikita. So dito na sa banal na salita na Diyos. So anong gusto ng Diyos na judgment na Uri ang i-apply natin sa buhay natin. What kind of judgment we have to do or perform after identifying evil, after identifying good, anong klaseng judgment ang gusto ng Diyos na way gagawin natin. Basahin natin. Amos 5.24 Praise the Lord. But let judgment round down as waters and righteousness is a mighty stream. Praise the Lord. Yes. Let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. So judgment must be based on the righteousness. So if ever you, you, you perform judgment, it must be linked, it must be connected to Righteousness. So, isa na lang. Hindi ka na mag, ano na, evil or unrighteousness. Yun na lang ang maiwan sa ating judgment na ating tangkili sa buhay natin. Righteousness. As a mighty stream na walang makakapigil. Kahit the strongest which is led by Satan. 
kaya ni itong wasaki na hindi ito matag hadla. How God made known is this good and evil. This happened in heaven in the first instance or happen, happen. And doon, una nangyari doon ang edit eh. The archangel of God which he made, the brightest of the archangel, rebelled against his God. Rebelled against his creator. Rebelled against his superior. And he convinced the angels of God and the one third of the number of the angels of God in heaven were deceived by the archangel who rebelled against God. And that is, oh, that was the first evil revealed by God, by the scripture. Eh, itong holy scripture, nakalista lahat dito. What are those evil? And that caused them to be cursed? What are those good that caused them to, to be to be rewarded or to be good. Kaya pinuri na Diyos yung ano. Blessed are you, inhabitants of the heaven. Rejoice. But woe unto you, the inhabitants of the earth, because the devil is cast unto you with his angels. Sino yung tinuturo niya sa langit? Rejoice ye in the heaven. These are the angels of God who remain the in their judgment, choosing what is good. Choosing God, who is the only one good. If you choose good, you choose God. There is only one good, and that is God. If you choose evil, you choose the devil. Because it was the devil who started evil. So, malipayon, masaya kayo dyan sa langit. He praised them. He blessed them which perform judgment. Imposible naman yung tutor. Hindi dumaan sa deception ni Lucifer. Dumaan sila sa deception ni Lucifer. But they refuse to believe Lucifer. So they remain faithful to their God, to their Creator. They choose God. They choose good. And therefore, they were blessed of God, even forever and and. Yeah, unang nagbibigay ng Dios, ibil na niyari sa langit, so that we will not follow their footsteps. Use Lucifer at sa kayong wonder of angels. Wag natin siya sundin. Do not. Kaya yung panahon sa Manila Congregation. Nandiyan si Pastor Betty. Nandiyan si Pastor Papi. They were my own people before. Noong napatuktok na ako ng boy state message ni Pastor, nirebuke ako ni Pastor Pantakot-Tako. Natouch ngayon yung feeling ng aking mga mimpro. Siyempre, nilabanan ni ako. Then sabi nila, Pastor Abrachi, iwalay na lang tayo kay Pastor. Kaya naman natin mag-sarili. Now, meron ka ng knowledge na ginawa yan doon sa langit. Will you not remember what is evil happening in heaven? Will you let that evil enter into the gate of your heart? Entertain and that which is proposed by the enemy. So, we have to resist that. Praise the Lord. Praise we the Lord. have to resist that. We have to be, to be contented. Lahat ay kumahan tayo ng pinakandobas level of serving God. At pinilipig tayo ng Diyos dahan-dahan. Saan tayo nilagay ng Diyos? Let us stand under his order. Do not, do not ever violate. Do not ever violate. Do not ever violate. 
do not ever follow the evil which God revealed happen in heaven. What? Kaya, salamat naman ako kay Jesus dahil nag-spark sa aking mind ang nangyari sa langit. That is why I remain faithful and loyal to my mentor, Pastor Samuel Al. na binigay ng Diyos sa atin na ibig na nang nangyari sa langit do not follow what? what? No. praise the Lord praise the Lord Picking 
up from the ground without any classification, without any quality. Just think, but just took those plants out of the ground and offered them to the Lord. And God was this place. Because it was not being offered with quality. Okay. Huwag natin gayahin si Cain. Gayahin natin si Abel. Yung ginawa ni Cain after sa nangyari, sa judgment. Huwag natin gayahin yung ginawa ni Cain against his brother because he became fugitive. Oh, what's that? He was marked by God as fugitive. Kaya yung verse na binasa bago lang ay yung pinaka-verse. Hate the evil, love the good, and establish judgment in the gate, it may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Why not Jacob ang na-mention dito? Why Joseph is being mentioned? What is remnant? Remnant that is out of all the many that is being left yung naiwan naman na kunti, yun ang remnant. So, si Joseph, remnant of Joseph. Sino si Joseph? Alam naman natin si Joseph, sino siya. E, ano natin yung mamaya? Remnant of Joseph, ibig sabihin niya, you made to stand as what Joseph stood, and those who can stand with Joseph, only few. Remnant lang. Pagsikapin natin lahat na makasama tayo sa rinan. Because there the grace, the grace of God will be upon the remnant of Joseph. So pagsikapin natin na makasama tayo sa remnant na yan ni Joseph. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! So, ngayon, i-identify natin who was Joseph and why Joseph was mentioned. Basahin natin ang Life of Joseph. Genesis 37, 3 hanggang 5. Sige po. Praise the Lord. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw their father love him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. Praise the more he, Joseph was hated by his brethren, unang una, nagkalit sila kay Joseph, that among the twelve, siya lang yung ginawan at binigyan ng many colors na ko. Because Joseph was the son of Jacob at his old age. Nung nanaginip si Joseph, sinabihan niya ang mga brothers niya. Lalo sila nag-hate kay Joseph. They hated Joseph. Until he was attempted to be murdered. Kung hindi lang si Reuben ang nagpigil, patay si Joseph. So, ang ginawa na lang nila, inulog na lang nila sa while waiting for some moments, they were smiling, walking, pass, passing that way. Then, naisip nila, what are, what are they doing? Oh, they are marching, going toward Egypt. What are they doing? Oh, there are servants behind them, being tied. And, Dinadala nila. Oh, what if let us sell this boy for a servant? Di ba pinintan nila si Joseph? And Joseph was sold. <coughs> Dinala sa Indian. And Joseph was hakik na benta with a highest bidder. Sino ang highest bidder? Masyadong malaking ganan siya ng smiley. Si Joseph. Kasi ang highest bidder na nanonood yung mayaman, si Kapitan Potipar. Then, next chapter, basahin natin. 
Genesis 39, 2 hanggang 5. Praise the Lord. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous, a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace in his sight, and he served him. And he made him overseer over his house, and all that he had he put into his hand. And it came to pass, from the time that he had made him overseer in his house, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake, and the blessings of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. Praise the Lord. Unang una, the Lord was with Joseph. Yan ang pinaka-prime nating uh, objective that the Lord should be you, with me, with us. Then Joseph was a prosperous person. Because of Joseph and the Lord was with him, his master did prosper in the hand of his servant, Joseph. Anong nangyari? May malaking pagsubok na hindi inasahan ni Joseph. Basahin natin. Genesis 39, 7, 112. Praise the Lord. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her, cast her eyes upon Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master is what is not, what is with me in the house, and he hath committed all that he hath to my hand. There is none greater in this house than I, neither hath he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? And it came to pass, as she spake to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her, to lie by her, or to be with her. And it came to pass about this time, and Joseph went into the house to do his business, and there was none of the men of the house there within. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand, and fled, and got him out. Praise Yan, hindi akalain ni Joseph na ang asawa ng kanyang master nagkaroon ng dagdamin sa kanya. Nagkaroon ng feeling. Nagkaroon ng dagdamin talaga. May feeling talaga. Tapos, day by day, binangkahit niya si Joseph. Joseph, lie with me. And she was doing that daily thing. Kailan tayo tutuksuhin ng Diyabo? Pag tayo nag-iisa. Si Jesus Christ, when He was tempted, when He was alone. So, kung kailan tayo nag-iisa, dyan tayo because witness ng tao pag may nakakita dahil pag merong nakatingin takot gagawa ng masama pero pag walang nakakita siya lang nag-iisa that person or all human being is vulnerable to commit iniquity so dyan tinatakong isa tangas pag nag-iisa ka lang so when Joseph was alone, after refusing many times na hindi niya pinapatulan, sabi ni Joseph, how can these things be? I am the servant of your husband and your husband asked me to take care of belongings to him and the most being asked to me that to be kept is you. Tapos gagawin ko ang wickedness na ito. Until one day, when there was no one at all in the house, Joseph went in to do his works. Doon na pumasok si Mrs. Potipa. Malakas si Mrs. Potipa. Para siyang Christy. Miss me here. Tutulo na yung laway niya. Sa last of the best. I want to eat you 
earth. I want to consume you out of my desire. Then Joseph stopped his judgment in the gate of his heart that any evil he must refuse, he must reject, he must hate. Joseph was able to manage himself and go out without committing sin. Even how strong Mrs. Putipar helped him. What is the proof? Because when Joseph went out, his clothing is gotten by the hand of the lady. Then she was so angry. Sabi Mrs. Putipak. He did not fear the world in the storm. Therefore, he put a hand on the Ha 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 ha. Security! Car! The servant chose it. Until, siyempre nakalag yan eh. Nagpatrabaho ng security maglagbog na yan. As per reported. Then when the master came, it was all told to him that it was Joseph who read, who want to read, and it was Putipat who refused. Naging baliktad yung kasa. Then Joseph received the consequence as report. He was put in prison. He was put into prison. He suffered the consequence. Oh man, ano sabi ni na mga guardia sa mga servants? Hoy, malaki kayo na iwan ni talo kay pagmripis na katulad ni ano ha? Jose, repeat ya. Pakong balik lagi orang nama ini. So it was important to all servants. It was important to many acquaintances. So Joseph was branded as repeat. Branded jadi repeat. When he was in the prison cell, ano araw nakita natin? Sige, basahin natin. Genesis 39. Ano? Dito na tayo sa Genesis 39. 13 and 20. Praise the Lord. When she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and was fled forth, that she called unto the men of her house and spake unto them, saying, See, he hath brought in the Hebrew unto us to mock us. He came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. And it came to pass, when he heard that, I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled and got him out. And he laid up his garment by her until his Lord came home. And she spake unto me according to his words, saying, The Hebrew servant which thou hast brought unto us came in unto me to mock me. And it came to pass, as I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled out. And it came to pass, when his master heard the words of his wife, which she spake unto him, saying, after this matter, after this matter, is thy servant to me, that his wrath was kindled. And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound, and he was there in the prison. Kulu, si Jose. And his master believed the report because it was reported by his own wife. 
and it was reported by the securities people look here. But there is only one up in heaven who knows what was chosen have done. That is why the one which is above never departed Joseph. Even he was in the prison cell. Pasabi natin. Genesis 39, 21, hanggang 23. Praise the Lord. But the Lord was with Joseph, and he showed him mercy, and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison, and whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand, because the Lord was with him, and that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. Praise the yeah. Lord. Na wala man siya ng trabaho, na wala man siya ng amo, na wala man siya ng honor, na wala man siya ng damal, na wala man siya ng moral, na wala na ang lahat-lahat, ang isang bagay na hindi nawala sa kanya ay ang Panginoon. Hindi man nakapagsyaw ng favor ang amo niya, hindi man nakapagsyaw ng favor ang mga kasamahan niya, ang mga co-servants, but sinabi dito, God is showing favor to Joseph. And even the taskmaster of the prison cell trusted Joseph because Joseph doing it by himself alone without watching. Sabi ng pastor niya, oh, this man even though I didn't watch him, but he's still doing the work. Therefore, I let him alone. Parayang ko na siya. Mag-isa. Yun ang gusto ng Diyos sa mga servants of God. Na kahit walang witness, kahit hindi ka nabantayan, kahit hindi ka nalikong ito, you are doing what is good? You are establishing judgment at the gate of your heart. And how do you establish judgment in the gate of your heart? It is like the stream. It is like the water, strong water, resisting, refusing evil, hating evil. Your verse dito na refuse. Ulitin natin yan. Sige. Genesis 39, 7-8 Praise the Lord. And it came to pass, after these things, that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. But he refused, and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master wotteth not that what is with me in this house, and he has committed all that he had to my hand. Yeah. Lalo na tayo mga servants of God. God entrusted to us the sheep, the, the souls. Not only the souls of our congregation, but the soul of all humanity in this world. God entrusts this to his servants. To be kept. So that's why be among the remnant of Joseph who kept the things that are being entrusted to him. He refused. Your judgment supposed on him. He hate evil and he identified evil. So by the knowledge of God. By the word of God, we are not reachable. Because God already showed it unto us by the Holy Scripture, the things that have done in the heaven and the things that have done on earth, na makarami natin matutunan dyan. What is good and evil. Na reachable na tayo. So, kailangan natin mag-establish na lang ng judgment sa puso po natin. 
and God asked us to do take it love that which is good so until such time kaya tayo pag tayo mag judge sa tao if you if you have heard so much evil of that person do not ever ever do not judge God said and you will be with Joseph. The Spirit of God was with Joseph. And all that he is doing is prospering. 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 Because God is preferable to Joseph. Meron nag-share sa akin na member sa Davao. Meron siya ng paisa na pastor dyan sa Mindana. I will not mention that name. Pastor, parang na-notice ko sa'yo yung mga uh, sharing mo sa akin you are too much leaning to a man for your help kung gawin niya God's generous God huwag i-mawala na yung tao na yun how can you survive? ganun na yung lahat dito sa pagdiri natin kay Jesus Christ let as practice what God asks us to do. Because God will be better, be more upon us. Praise the, Praise the Lord. Hindi magsisinungaling ang salita ng Diyos. And be a testimony of God. Be a testimony of God that God is real. Be a testimony of God is faithful to those who are faithful, honest to those, honest. Lovely to those who are loving people of God. Be a testimony. Let God appear to your life that God is telling the truth. Minsan naroon akong na, nag-preach ako dyan sa Buena Vista. Sabi ko, if you believe God, hindi mo lang marinig, hindi mo lang mabasa ang miracle of God, but you will experience it. To Nung naliwala sila, God made His word. Ginawa ng Diyos yung promise niya to those who believe because that is what He said. If you believe, you will be saved. Lahat ng mga sakit nila instantly, miraculously, kahit gaano na katagal yung mga sakit nila para lang bulat. Then they came back in the morning and testified, God na lang. Wala na lang, hindi na bumalik. After they went home until the morning, until the present time and he decided to be baptized hindi ko lang na-serve yung baptism only one sober baptized sabi ko, I shall return praise the Lord praise the Lord minsa magamit natin yung salita ng mga ato marami tayong kaluluwa na babalikan na nagpinatch ng ating Panginoon Diyos kaya After he was in prison, there were two guys in the prison together with him in the cell. Dream. The butler and the baker, alam niyo na yung story niya. Then the, the butler was restored to his job as a butler, serving wine to the king. And Joseph asked him people, remember him with the in paradise. But the Bible says he was forgotten. Sometimes we shall be forgotten by our fellow men. But don't be discouraged. There is someone cannot forget you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There is someone cannot forget you. God is not forgetful what you have done in his sight. He was forgotten by the butler until the, the, the problem occurred to the life of his master, he became havoc, wild, the wild young king. Call the wise men, call the soldiers, call the wise men, bring them here. Then he opened up 
this dream that is being forgotten. And he asked them to interpret the forgotten dream. And every one of them cannot give the interpretation. And the, the, the king did havoc and wife. All of you will be executed. All of you will be killed. I remember the Oh, king, I remember there was someone which became my servant. I hit man. And the story was this. Me and the baker got killed. And both of us, our dreams were interpreted by that guy. And the interpretation was accurate. The interpretation was true. When the interpretation I shall be restored in my work in you, it was bad. When the interpretation the baker will be hung after three days, he was hung after three days. Okay, that man whose spirit is in him. The Padilla Lamin just spirit down there. Then God called that man. Don't let us see more God remember Joseph. How Joseph did the instruction to execute judgment in the care of his heart. How Joseph reveals all the evil being tempted by Satan. How Joseph welcomed the good. Can you interpret my dream? Then Joseph said, My God will interpret your dream. Tell me your dream. Oh, I have forgotten my dream. Now tell me my dream and interpret the interpretation. Oh, King, give me time to pray, to make. And it was repeated. Accurately, perfectly, by the God of Jesus. So, no matter the dream, you can interpret our dream. He felt the accuracy of the interpretation and of the dream. Because the interpretation, there will be first seven years of abundance, and there will be next seven years of famine. And Joseph said, you need someone to handle that, that abundant years so that you can handle the seven years from him. And when he looked at his people, wala siya na naramdaman na maasahan niya. Alam mo, ang trust ng tao ang importante. Para trust niya ng Diyos. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are, are you trustworthy? Are we trustworthy? Kung ano man yung pinagkatiwala sa atin ng tamay, tinan mo si Kipuloy ngayon ng tatago. He has so much cases. Yung case na apat na child molest sa dapo na na-dismiss ni Ripiu ng korte. Sinabi mismo ni Rick Lee, justice natin. Try the case here in, the, in Manila. Because the evidence is so strong and convincing. Kaya meron na siya sa 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 pwede. And he refused to return to appear in the scene to, to answer all the accusations against him. Then, he might be condemned. Lalabas na yung warang ko. At si Bigong mismo nagsabi na, I advise you, Kibuloy, be arrested. Magpakuli ka na. At si Alam din, yung Bigong, matibay ang diretsyo. Binutawan na si Kibuloy. Kaya isa lang, ang kutbinsigin natin, na huwag mawala sa atin. Bitawan ka man ng taong mundo, sa mundo ito. Huwag ka lang bitawan ng Diyos. Para hindi tayo bitawan ng Diyos 
Sunting natin yung sinabi niya, establish judgment in the gate of your heart. And be among the remnant of Jews. Follow the, the, the light of Joseph. Mark the perfect man because the end of that man is peace. So, tayo nga magsikap po tayo na maging kasama tayo sa remnant of Jesus. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Lahat tayo maging remnant tayo. Makasama tayo sa remnant of Jesus. Then let us always remember all the scriptures. What God hath revealed, what happened in heaven, what God hath revealed, happened on earth. Let us always identify what is evil, then reduce. How can you consider that that is evil? Because those who have done it were cursed. That's why God said, I set before you, curse and bless. Those curse which he is showing to the people of him. These are the people who disobey him. Those who are being blessed, these are the people who are obedient unto his will, unto his order, unto his commandments. When I decided to serve Jesus full time, my ministry was. Sino ka paglinis dito? Sino ka yung ministry ito paglinis ka? Obi? Brad? Gary? Ang ministry ko ba Gary when I started to serve Jesus as his tanong That is how I started. As his tanong Pastor Dodo. Then, wala nang mawagula nang magtawag si Pastor na mag-MC. Ako na yung pagtapaw. Last choice. Pag wala nang talaga matawag si Pastor na uh, mag Sunday School. So, pero nun ito, nag-gain ako ng mga gagiyos. Hanggang pinagkatiwalaan ako ni Jesus Christ ginamit si Pastor, mag-assist ka kay Joe Asinto. Assist ako sa atin. Kahit ano nang ibigay ni Jesus sa atin, kung sinyo sa pinigay o pinigay ng Diyos niyo, come on! So, labahan kong pretty na Joe Asinto, labahan ko na ang gamit ko na. I love to assist. Then after that, sabi ni Pastor, punta ka sa ko mag-assist ka kayo. Pari. Nandiyan ka pa si Pastor. Assist ako pa ilang, ilang man sa ako. Assist. We should know how to respect who are those about us. Praise the Lord. And do not ever buy me the order of God. Then after that, assist ka kay Papi. Kaya si, si Pastor Ter, pasa-pasa siya. Papa, if you humble yourself. Praise the Lord. Tinitingnan ka ng Diyos. Kung meron ka bang murmuring, meron ka bang kumplain. Ha! Ang sipa ko dito ni Pastor, nalipitot ni mga tao nito. Ha! Ano ba yan? May ipad na lang ako doon sa iba ng anong plan. Just ka na ako. Ngayon, may nalipad na lang ako sa iba. Doon, ano ba ito? More, more, ha? more, more, complain, ka ng complain. Wala sa inyo yung weakness. Wala sa inyo yung humbleness. That is the mark of Christ. Alam mo yung yugo? Ano sabi ni Jesus? Take my yugo upon you. Hindi ibig sabi tanggalin yung yugo ni Kristo. Hindi. Yun yung yugo na pagtatlo. Share ba? So, yung yugo ni Jesus, meron niya yung ganyan. Kunin mo yung yugo ko, sabay ka sa akin. Kung anong gawin ko, kung forward ako, forward ka rin. Hindi ko ako sa kanan, kanan ka rin. Kung atras, kung atras. Yan ang ibig sabihin niya, take my yugo upon you and learn of me. Paano na tayo kay Jesus with the same yugo? Ano ang, how Jesus introduced himself to his 
followers, I am meek and lowly. No murmuring. No complaining. Sino yung taas sa iyo? Kaya kung anong utos pa sa dudong sa akin, gawa ko na natin. Kaya yung nakakataan sa akin eh. Overcheat mapag na yan. Overcheat ipagpag mo ito. Okay. Sunod-sunod na ako. Sino nakakataas na sa akin? When I was in assigning si Mo with Pastor Tan, sunod ba ako ng sunod kay Pastor Tan? Never, I, I never left. Hindi ako uiwan kay Pastor Tan unless Pastor Tan may ask me who go. I, I just wait sa superior ko. Huh? Tapos, yun na. Sabi ni Pastor at Pastor Patika, yun ang first time na nag-alone ako walang simpa. Kaya importante, habang malapit ka pa sa simpa, para tayong tiyongo magpunto na tayo ng maraming salita. Hindi mo alam ang palayot ka sa komplikasyon. Para meron kang consumption para survive ka. So hanggang dumating si pastor ng kursada, umuwi na lang ko, hindi na ako sinama. Iiwan na ako. And I never ask him why. I never ask him why. I never ask him, ask him when I shall be given. No question. Until si Jesus nagparayat sa revelation, ginamit si Sister Rachel. Chito, anak mo, Chito. Makakasayang ka ng itaklokan. Then, paalam na rin ako sa kanila, COVID-19. Thank you very much for caring me. Thank you very much for being me as your missionary. Now, my master, I've been assigned somewhere else. It's not your tribute. Then he said, Malapit po na kayong isahin ng joy. I don't know, Sister Insa, can you still remember that? Sister Insa, can you still remember that? Then I just keep on waiting and waiting. Waiting and waiting. Waiting. Hindi ko alam ang plano na ang pinakas ng plas. I never, never aspire to be the one. Who am I? I am the least of all. I am the youngest of all. Kung nangyong saan mo talaga. So, yun. So, sunod lang ako ng sunod. Sunod lang ng sunod. Ano ko? Ang ating Panginoon Diyos. Until such time, tayo from zero, binigyan tayo ng mga authorities. Hanggang tumaas ang tumaas yung ating mga letters. Praise the Lord. Let us put ourselves under one name, under one group, under one head, under one authority. Up in heaven. This is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords this is. And God will impress us more as He so that we are worthy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So be among the remnant of Joseph until God entrusts Joseph the entire Egypt until Joseph entrusts the care of the poor clan of Jacob. Until Joseph died and it was God who chose Moses and it was at this only place kaya sabi ko sa double congregation I will never, never, never make any testament who will be the next of mine if in case God will cause me to rest that is not my job that is not my position the one who will install after me is the one which is in heaven. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ganun tayo. Lahat dito. Tapos na nag-register ako ng dito doon sa lupa sa Dabao. Donated ni Tita Lucia. Tita donated it 
to the church, not to his pamangkin. So what I did, I go to the lawyer, sir, and they make documentation for the title of our church lot which donated by my auntie. And these are the date of donation. Then the lawyer said, Chit! Ilagay na lang natin sa pangalan mo! Chit! Ilagay na lang natin sa pangalan mo! Then I said, I'm sorry sir, that is not donated in behalf of me. That is donated in behalf of church, so it must be in the name of the church. Kasi ang isip ko pag mamatay ako, then hindi mag problema ang church. My family has no right to pay, even a single inch, unless God will entrust it to them. Sabi niya sa akin, Chet, alam mo ba Chet? Ano yan sir? Mag-ihinga ka Chet. Ang lalaki na yung sibahanin niya, pag-aawayan niya. Maraming kami ginawa ka na trust it. Ito, puro si ba, nagkakasuhan, nagkaagawa ng ranggo, nagkaagawa ng posisyon, nagkaagawa ng property, nagkaagawa ng privilege. Sila sila nagkakasuhan, nagkagugulo-gulo. Sa ating bibig, ganito bibig. Praise the Lord. If this thing will happen, God will depart us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Not depart from us. So God be the glory. Salamat tayo. We are scripture. And scripture at time. Scripture. Let me perform a head nothing. Si Jesus Christ. Bakit ang paper form siya? Siya yung nag-rule sa atin. Siya yung nag-instruct sa atin. Siya yung nag-empower sa atin. Siya yung nag-set up sa atin. Siya lahat. Kaya pasalamat tayo. We are not ruled by a board member of the church. We are not ruled by the audit, by the pastor na doon sa amin. No! We are ruled by God by Jesus Christ Himself. At kami ng mga senior pastor, kung meron kami ng mabuling panukuhan, ikikik out kami ni Jesus by Himself. Sigurado yan. Walang pili yan. Yan kailangan tayo matakot. Tayo din. Tayo lang. Let us consider what God has revealed to us by His gospel between good and evil, between blessing and curse. So, the most important is establish judgment in the gate of your heart. Praise the Lord. Establish nothing. What you evict nothing in evil, refuse nothing in love, nothing in nothing in good. To God be the glory. Pasalamatan natin ang ating Panginoon Diyos. Hate the evil, love the good, establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto whom the remnant of Diyos. Kailahin natin ang panitigan ng Diyos. Praise the Lord! God bless ang sita yun. Ito natin ang closing song. I pray with the family, sorry. Sino po nila yung special prayer request? Dato tayo mag-proceed sa closing song. I pray natin ang meeting natin bukas. Praise the Lord. We are guided by the Holy Spirit Pastor Moji. pandemic na sampung area yun.
sa lahat na ano po. Yes, let's pray for that. Hallelujah. Pagbibigay okay. si Jesus ng revival.
in heart. And you shall find rest unto your soul. This is the highest privilege of anyone, of all people, of the world, of all humanity. The rest of his soul, which is to be in the kingdom of God. Parami pong salamat. And there is no other way but him. We have to have the same yoke with you. Kaya salamat po, Panginoon Jesus Christ. Tulad niyo po tinuturo sa mga nik, ang inyong mga statutes, ang inyong mga commandments. Alam niyo na sila ay susunod. Alam niyo, sila ay hindi makrefuse sa inyong mga kautusan. Kaya tulungan niyo po kami, Panginoon Jesus Christ, that we shall be counted among the remnant of Joseph. Lord Jesus, help us. For without you, we can do nothing. Tanging kayo lamang ang nakagawa ito sa aming buhay. Therefore, we need to abide in you. Na mag-abide kami sa inyo, Panginoon Su Cristo. In all our ways, we acknowledge you. And you will not live in our own understanding. In our own sight or seeing in our own wisdom or understanding. But ikaw ang in-acknowledge ang inyong word, ang inyong truth, Panginoon sa Kristo. Lord Jesus, i-grant niyo po kahit pa man ang prayer request ni Pastor Moji. Yung lahat po na mga naapiktuhan sa pandemic. At ano pa mga uh, spiritual pandemic na tumama sa kanila ng mga pagsubok sa buhay. Bigyan niyo po si Lord Jesus ng revival. Gamitin niyo po ang inyong likod, Pastor Mucci. Ilagay niyo po ang inyong quickening spirit sa kanyang bibig na ito po ay uh, ma-i-utter niya doon. It is the spirit that quickened the flesh profited nothing. The word that you have spoken to whom you will speak. They are alive for you. Kaya nabuhayin niyo po sila. Spirituality, marifying sila. Nagbalik sila sa kanilang Panginoon Diyos. Marami pong salamat. At i-grant niyo po ang special request ni Pastor Ryan J. Yung pagkakaisa ng kanyang congregation. Itatlo na po uh, nasa sakupan ng mga munisipyo ang kanyang pinapaluat. Patuloy niyo po siya, Lord Jesus, bigyan ng strength. Bigyan ng Uh, lahat ng kanyang mga resources i-provide niyo po ng kanyang digital na gagamitin Panginoon sa Kristo. Kayo po Lord mag-equip po sa kanya sa kanyang pangailangan. I-bless niyo po ang lahat ng mga datihan at mga baguhan sa galing sa ginubata kahit pa man galing sa iba sa pangaling iba sa pekinyo at sa ligaw at ano pang mga bagong visitation niya i-bless niyo po ito. Makapagpatuloy po sila. I-bohos niyo po ang mga blessings na makagawa po doon ng comfort room. Personate sa malaki ang mga so Christo. Simbahan ang mapalakihan na extent. You are so rich. You have made the earth and the heavens. You can provide all the necessities of your servants. And this is we ask you provide all the necessities of your people, of your servants, of your children. At lalot na sa request po di Pastora Kim Chin. Ganon din po kay Pastora Joey. Ayan din po yung weakness ng kanyang physical body. And yet, you cause her to survive out of all those. Patuloy niyo po siya bigyan ng complete healing sa kanyang mga karagdaman. High sugar cup. Lahat-lahat yung i-balance sa kanyang blood cancer. Pagaligin niyo po siya, miraculously, I pray. At ganun din po sa kanyang apo na meron po kanya, i-bless niyo po ang batas na yan na magpatay na yung kanyang uh, bayat Panginoon sa Kristo na ito po ay balance, hindi po ang normal ang signs Panginoon sa Kristo. Touch it, bless it, heal it, miraculously. I bless niyo po. Ang ministry ni Pastor Rachel Gil, 
Pero hindi po kay Pastor Lorna. I pray for your healing. Kahit paman po sa kanyang karamdaman, lack of appetite. He might have some problem fever inside of her body. Bless you po siya, Lord Jesus. Bigay niyo po siya ng complete healing inside and outside of her physical body. Bigay niyo po siya ng appetite. Bigay niyo po siya ng strength as you have purpose. Lord Jesus, sa kanyang pangilin po sa inyo. Bless niyo po ang kanyang visitation. Doon po sa kanyang binibisitahan ng parents na inyong mga anak na nasa ibang pakinang sa Kristo o tulitaran. Kaya dalangin ko po na magkaroon po sila, Lord Jesus, ng continuation sa pagdiligod po until such time. Someday, they will be giving a work of the ministry in that area. Kaya din po kay Pastor Bobby, I pray for your mercy, for your compassion, at tuloy po yung bless ang kanyang ministry. Tuloy po siyang patibay, lalo sa kanyang membro na si Pastor uh, si Brother Vito. Kayo po, Lord Jesus, magbigay po sa kanya na spiritual understanding, wisdom, ano man yung tawag mo sa buhay niya, ano man yung papagawa mo sa buhay niya, Lord Jesus. Let him be touched by your, by your power, O Lord God. At pagalitin niyo po siya as you have purpose upon his life for your use, for your glory, and for honor. Na maglilikod siya sa inyo, whatever you might ask him to do. Kaya bless Brother Vito and keep him miraculous. Uh, dalangin ko po, kaya tamang si Pastor Junior, kayo po Lord Jesus, mag-run, lalot-lalot na parang kinakailangan na po nila maghanda, mag-ipon ng financial para po ma makabili kahit pa man ang lupa sa lugar niya, sa kanilang assignment sa mga talpan. <coughs> dalangin ko po sa inyo, patuloy niyo po ang may ari na hindi pa po sila panisin until sa standing at ina panis and capable to buy own lot for the church and to erect church building and parsonage for that congregation. Patuloy niyo po ito kung palaguin, palaguin pa ng gusto pa ng gusto Christo. At yung dalawa niya na member, si Sister Wayne at Sister Maria, or Maria, bigyan niyo po sila Lord Jesus na great deliverance from the power of darkness, from the power of witchcraft. You are greater than them. You are mightier than them. Kaya dalangin ko po sa inyo. Patuloy niyo po sila pagtipayin sa kanilang panang palataya at obedience dyan po sa inyo. Magkapit sila sa inyo na gusto ng 100% so that Satan has no power, has no part in their lives. No claim at all. Kaya dalangin ko po sa inyo pagpalain niyo po lahat ng mga komplikasyon po ninyo sa oo. Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao and overseas. Saan man naroon ang inyong mga anak, whether established congregation or whether they are working in such overseas uh, countries, kayo po Lord Jesus, uh, mag-sustain, mag-bless yung aming pagliligod po sa inyo. Pagdibayin po ang unity, pagdibayin po Lord Jesus ang aming harmony, pagdibayin po Lord Jesus ang aming uh, love each other, help each other, O Lord of God. At nandyan po, kahit pa man, ang kagandahan mo ng bawat isa, pagmamahalan, pagtutulungan po, Panginoon Jesus Christo, as what you have uh, given us, O Lord of God, a so-called capacity, kapab capability. We will use this, O Lord of God, for your greatness, sake, for your honor and your glory. And we will do this, not because of who we are, we can do this to you. As what Paul says, I can do all things through Christ which is strengthened. Kaya, pagpalain niyo po ang aming uh, meeting bukas Panginoon sa Kristo. Gabayan niyo po kami lahat ng inyong banal na spirito. Uh, patuloy niyo po kami, Lord Jesus, in sustain, in preserve, uh, lalo pang patibay under your name, O Lord of God. Kasi kayo lang ang kankero, kayo lang ang Savior, kayo lang ang Kerito, kayo lang ang totoo ng Diyos. At lahat na maglilingkod sa inyo ay maging katulad po sa inyong truthfulness, sa inyong faithfulness, sa lahat-lahat ng mga karakteristik na nandyan po sa inyo. 
in which you are sharing into us, in which you are imparting into us. As we serve you, you are changing us from glory to glory. And di na mawala sa amin ang inyong kalwal hatihan hanggang sa amin kamatayin sa sanglito dami ito sa pisika. Lalo't lalo na sa amin hinaharap sa internal testing. Kaya marami pong salamat. Patuloy niya po ibuho sa inyong mga blessings dito po sa San Jose Congregation who hosted this gathering or meeting. Pagpalain niyo po, patuloy niyo po ibuho sa inyong mga blessings. Uh, patuloy niyo po bigyan ng karakasa ng bawat isa ng inyong mga anak. Uh, patuloy niyo po bigyan ng wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to do everything what is necessary to be done. For without you, we can do nothing. Maraming pong salamat at kung sino pa man po who are still coming to this way to attend, O Lord, our meeting. Keep them safe, bless them, and give you that in thy own mind to it, so that we could have, O Lord of God, our meeting together with you. Maraming pong salamat, kayo po nagsabi, call unto me, and I will answer me, and show you great and mark the things which thou knowest not. In Jesus' name, Amen. Everybody say, Praise the Lord! Praise, Praise the Lord! Lord.